Okay, so now let's go ahead and change this text according to the mission information. For that, simply open up the mission script. Then as you know that we have this mission information text, so we need to add a reference to this mission information text. So after this bools, let's create a public text and let's name this as mission text. Then right down below, as you can see, we leave a comment for our UI. Okay, so now we will remove this debug.log because we don't now no need to show the mission information text in the console. We will now show it in the UI. So just remove the debug.log and instead of that type mission text dot text and it will be equals to this text. Okay, remove the brackets from there and then just leave it as it is. Okay, so if none of the missions are completed, then it will show the first mission like that. Okay the mission dot text will be changed to this okay now let's just simply copy this from there instead of the debug dot log paste it right here as well just select this debug dot log and if you are using visual studio code click on this change all occurrence and paste it and everywhere it will change it okay like that now let's add a equal sign right here as well and here as well and right here and also then remove these brackets okay so remove all of these brackets one by one and make sure that you don't do any mistake right here or else it will give you out an error so now if none of the mission is completed then the mission information will show that that locate your house and save game and when we completed this then it will show this then this and then the last mission and after that it will show this all mission completed successfully and as you know just for testing we type this all mission completed successfully right here in the mission information but when now we play the game this text will be changed okay so now we can get back to scene view let me just do that then let's get out of the 2d mode let's focus up on the player that's it now actually let me open that up and let's click on missions and now as you can see on the missions right here we have this mission script so just drag and drop the mission information right there okay and now this text will change automatically when we play the game you will notice it it will show the first mission text so when we play the game as you can see now it shows locate your house and save game let me see the console what is happening Let's click on player. Okay, let's just move out from there. And now we need to start the game from the start. Okay, we can't now start this game from here. So we need to just go back to the scene view, click on main menu. Now let's start our game from here. Okay, click on maximize. Let's now play the game change to the game view and as you can see right here we have this game view now if we click on continue it will continue our game but if we click on start okay now let's play the game from the start and as you can see when the game starts you can notice the mission text right here it shows locate your house and save game so now let's go ahead and save the game you can notice the money we don't have any rifles okay so now if you play the save the game it will show the money and everything like that okay so now let's save it and as you can see the game is being saved and it shows meet frank in the police station now so that is now our next mission so it means that now everything works perfectly fine in the mission ui changes according to the mission okay so with this done now in the next video we will work on our save ui okay so whenever we save the game you want to show to the player that yes the game is being saved okay so now let's just end this video right here